Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. President Trump signs executive order approving Keystone, Dakota Access Pipelines. By Derek Bros. Less than one week into office, Donald Trump has signed an executive order approving of construction with the Keystone XL and Dakota Access Pipelines. Everyone's favorite anti-establishment president signed two executive orders on Tuesday which will allow construction on the controversial Keystone XL and Dakota Access Pipelines to continue. President Trump took the actions on Tuesday in an attempt to keep his promises to make America great again by attempting to increase domestic energy production via oil pipelines. The Keystone XL pipeline has been opposed by environmental activists for seven years, while the Dakota Access Pipeline by Native American tribes since April 2016. The Obama administration rejected the Keystone XL pipeline in November 2015. The Doppel was also recently denied a permit for construction on the final portion of the pipeline which goes under Lake OA. President Trump is legally required to honor our treaty rights and provide a fair and reasonable pipeline process, Dave Archambault II, chairman of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, said. Americans know this pipeline was unfairly rerouted towards our nation and without our consent. The existing pipeline route risks infringing on our treaty rights contaminating our water and the water of 17 million Americans downstream. Meanwhile, the North Dakota Petroleum Council, the trade group for the state's oil producers, called the move a great step forward for energy security in America. It should be noted that President Trump owned stock in Energy Transfer Partners, the majority owner of the pipeline, until mid-2016. Rick Perry Trump's nominee for U.S. Energy Secretary also sat on the board of ETP until late 2016. In early December, the Army Corps of Engineers denied a permit for ETP to cross under Lake Away in North Dakota. Following the Corps' decision, Joe Allen Darcy, the Army's Assistant Secretary for Civil Works, stated that alternate routes will be considered based on a new Environmental Impact Statement (EIS) that will include input from the public and the tribe. Trump's executive order comes only one week after U.S. District Court Judge James Boesberg denied Doppler attorney's attempt to stop the Army Corps of Engineers from conducting the Eyes on the Lake Away crossing. The Army Corps of Engineers also officially published a notice of intent in the Federal Register to prepare a partial Eyes. Free Emergency Survival Blanket AD As Anti-Media reported last week, Violence returned to Standing Rock beginning on the evening of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, social media accounts connected to the fight against the Doppler and in support of the suit posted several videos showing law enforcement using tear gas and rubber bullets on water protectors who attempted to set up a teepee on backwater bridge off Highway 1806. Social media reports said law enforcement grabbed an unknown amount of water protectors. Backwater Bridge was the site of conflict throughout the months of October and November. This violence led, in part, to the unanimous vote from the Standing Rock Sioux tribal government to forcibly evacuate the remaining camps near the Cannonball River, according to Indian Country Media Network. In a unanimous vote, Standing Rock Sioux tribal council members voted to close the network of encampments behind the Dakota Access Pipeline protests within 30 days including the main Sakawan, Rosebud, and Sacred Stone camps. Council members also voted against providing any temporary camps or shelters to individuals who should remain at the camps after the February 19 deadline. The decision was made in an emergency meeting held on Friday, January 20 at the tribe's headquarters in Fort Yates, North Dakota. At the council meeting, Jo Beth Brownotter said she was shocked by the recent behavior she had seen at the camps, including the use of drugs and alcohol, mistreatment of elders, and physical assaults on law enforcement. We have got to get back to square one. This movement has lost the spirituality that it once had, Otter told the council. Now that Trump has issued executive orders calling for completion of these pipelines it is likely that the remaining water protectors will face further conflict with law enforcement. 
This is the time for all water protectors who formerly supported the camps to return en masse. It's going to take a lot of land defenders and water protectors to stop the completion of these pipelines. And to those who believe that the pipelines will increase domestic strength, you are being duped. The expected oil products are already being sold to foreign nations, they will not increase American independence. Even if the pipelines did increase jobs, they won't, or make America great again, is it worth the cost? If Trump wants to make this a land of economic growth he should abandon unsustainable fuel sources and end government interference and regulation of alternative energy sources. Unfortunately, it seems like we are in for four more years of hope and change. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.